So today we're going to do our one year review of the Bakken uh, mini lathe. This mini lathe is priced at uh, about $40. It has some really good features. Um, it's got a telescopic tailstock, which is really nice. It's got a, a turning tool holder. Okay, um, it has a very solid chuck. It's got a 300 millimeter bed. It runs off of 24 volts DC and it has a seven speed switch. Um, so you can vary your speeds be in between 4,000 and 8,000 RPMs. Okay. As you can see, I've added a, a anti-vibration pad to the bottom. Um, that's uh, really not not necessary, but I wanted to do that just to uh, really reduce any vibration. Okay, um, like I said, the vibration was very very minor. Um, this mini lathe is perfect for your uh, your home do it yourself. Uh, hobbyist. Here's uh, project number one. Uh, this is for a acrylic tire replacement tire I'm making for a little model toy that I have. Okay, so you can see how nice uh, I made this. I made this uh, mold from acrylic, and then I'm just uh, turning it down to the right size to match the other wheel. Okay, using some buffing pads. Now we're gonna paint the tire itself. And from here, we're going to put on some white wall. And uh, really, really great for hobbyists. Really, really is. Okay, here I'm showing a saw blade. Okay, so you can use um, various tools here. Here I built a custom bed so I can cut small pieces of wood. So I'm just showing you an example here. So this... this uh, this mini lathe is, is customizable as well. You can see it cuts right through. Okay, here I'm installing a Dremel cutoff tool. Okay, I'm gonna cut a piece of metal tubing and you can see that just cuts right through. There you go. Okay, here I'm going to show you um, the adapter for uh, doing uh, wood lathe. Okay, so here you can make your own wood pens, and things of that nature. Line it up the tailstock, tightening that in, and then you see uh, just cutting into it, making some cuts. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Really nice. I'm, I'm turning this at about 6,000 RPMs right now. Just, just making some additional cuts in the handle to give you an idea how it works. It really, it re really does work quite well. You're really going to enjoy this, uh, this tool. Okay, so that's the end of the review. Um, this mini lathe uh, is perfect for the home hobbyist. Okay, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I've had this, I've owned this lathe for a year. I have no issues. Used it for many, many projects. Got a very powerful motor for its size. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please post them and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.